Hey, Rodney, Tom Ward, Coin TV. Can you just talk about uh, what you've experienced, kind of a rebirth here since the last game in the Oklahoma City Series uh, through now, all your teammates singing your praises and getting to come off the bench and, and uh, light the team up the way you do? Um, just, just being patient. Um, you know, the OKC Series, you know, I was more of a, a, a spacer. Um, you know, Dame and CJ just had a great rhythm. And uh, it was more of a, you know, d trying to affect winning, you know, playing defense, getting deflections, those type of things. Uh, this series, um, you know, is you know I got a, a matchup that I like. You know, I'm real aggressive, um, just trying to pick spots where I can, you know, take some pressure off those guys, Damon, CJ. You know, and it's working out right now. Uh, we got one more game, you know, to get to the West Conference Finals. So we got to keep trying to exploit different things. Second row center, Rodney Mark Schwartz, ESPN. What is it about this matchup, and what is it about these players you're playing with that is added so much confidence to your game over the last little while? I mean, it's, it's just been great. You know, sometimes when you uh, you make changes, you know, um, you know, it's for the better. You know, you, you're around a great group of guys, guys that kind of had a personality like me that just want to win, good people. You know, um, the community is great out here. So it just adds to it, and, you know, and, um, you know, give a lot of credit to Coach Stotts and the coaching staff for, for bringing me in and, and, and to a team that was already, you know, third in the West, fourth in the West, and, and – um, enabling me to be a big part of, of what we're doing here. And it's for reasons like this, you know, to be able to, uh, you know, advance, you know, as much as we can. So I'm happy to be coming through from them, and they've been great to me. Second row on the right. Uh, Sean Hyken, Bleach Report. Rodney, having been through a couple of game sevens in the playoffs last year when you were with the Cavs, uh, mm -hmm. what can you say about kind of what to expect or, you know, what, what you're going to tell the other guys to expect who maybe haven't been in that situation before? I mean, they're, they're fun. It's, it's some of the uh, most fun basketball you'll play. You know, um, actually, you no know, ones last year I wasn't playing, you know. Uh, but I played in one when I was in Utah. We played the Clippers on the road. And it's nothing like going in somebody's building in, in the game seven and, and winning. You know, um, that's a, a memory that will last a very long time. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be intense. I'm pretty sure that fans are going to be ready to rock. And, um, you know, but it's going to take a total team effort like it did tonight. Yeah, Rodney, Dwight James, NBC Sports. Your playoffs before, there's not been any kind of outburst like you're doing in this series. Where, where does this come from and the confidence to do it and, and the talent to do it? Where does that come from? Uh, I mean, I think the, the talent has always been there. I think it's just God, you know, and, and patience. You know, it's patience. You know, everything is not going to happen, you know, like you want it to happen, you know, uh, like in line. Everybody has a dream, like it's supposed to happen now, now. And, you know, uh, last year, like when I was, I wasn't playing a lot, and uh, I was kind of down on myself, and I just kept working, and I knew it would come through. I didn't know when it would come through, but it did, and um, you know, I'm just, I'm just grateful, you know, that I didn't, you know, give up on myself, and I just kept, kept plugging at it, and um, a lot more basketball to be played, you know, and I'm happy about that. Third row, center. Uh, Ryan Clark, Portland Tribune. Rodney, uh, what can you say about the impact that Zach Collins had on both ends tonight? Man, he was huge. He was huge. Finishing around the basket. Uh, I don't even know the stat, you know, how many shots he changed, blocked defensively, uh, what he did. Uh, he's a huge part of his win, you know, and he's been a huge part of his whole series. Just his his infectious energy on the, on the defensive end. And then offensively, you know, uh, we was climbing around by the Euro step of last game and uh, just adding stuff to his game. He's knocking down threes. He's playing so confident right now, and he's been a big help. Jared Cowley, KGW. What are your teammates and your coaches telling you to do in this series? Are they encouraging you to attack, or is that something you're doing on your own? Uh, they just uh, encourage me to attack. You know, um, uh, Dame and CJ are getting the, some of the bigger wing uh, matchups or attention. You know, like, you know, their wings are guarding them. So, you know, I'm um, I'm – good in the post, you know, trying to find post-up opportunities. And that kind of got me going tonight. Um, you know, I, I've been either, either getting fouled or or, uh, or just making a play, you know, when they trap, make the right play and getting good shots out of it. So, you know, just got to uh, continue to do that. Third row right. Joe Freeman with the Oregonian. Rodney, could you describe your lowest point last year in the playoffs, A, and, and then B, uh, what does it mean to you to have these moments in, in light of that? Uh, Man, uh, I think, you know, last year, you know, I, I wasn't, you know, obviously this is the first time that I didn't play, you know, um, and I was down on myself, you know, um, you know, I didn't really know, 
how to get out of that, you know what I mean? Um, it was a dark moment for me, you know, but my family really kept me positive. Uh, guys just was with the team at the time, with Cleveland, kept me positive, you know, because they knew what type of player I was. It was just, you know, an unfortunate situation, and that's why I chalk it up to. Um, but things always flip around, you know what I mean? This time last year, it was one of my lowest, and now it's my brightest, you know what I mean? That's God uh, working hard, uh, keep believing, you know, and uh, it always turns around, you know, and um, I hope, you know, everybody back in Mississippi is watching, you know, and they, they smiling right now. Last question, front row right. Joe Varden, The Athletic. Rodney, don't forget, you, you were playing in the finals. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, you, I did. did I did. <laughs> um, I, I just want to press on this because you said it at the top that you have a matchup that you like. Mm. And then when, when Mark asked you about it, you were talking more about being happy in Portland. In this series, what is the matchup that you like? Uh, right now, I like all of them, to be honest. Uh, but, uh, you know, just uh, a lot of times uh, Murray is guarding me. Um, he's a, not to take away from him as a defender, but he's smaller, and I feel like I get a shot off any time. And, um, you know, and then once I get it going, I feel like I, I just, you know, got it, got it, got it rolling. So, you know, um, just continue to work out of the post, the mid post. Um, you know, coach been getting on me a lot about catching at the three-point line. But uh, just continue to be patient. And um, now, you know, I'm starting to see a little bit of a double team, you know, so I hit Evan Turner and he made the right play out of it. So I think it's, it's good offense, especially with that second unit. And it takes a lot of pressure off of Dame and CJ where they don't have to take as many tough shots. They can depend on me for a couple of possessions here and there, you know, to give them a rest and, and, and maybe give us a foul or, or something like that. So I think it's been working.